Look at that sucker. Did he take the egg? I think he did. Got him. No, stupid net. Yes, oh my gosh. Look at the colors on him. Wow. What's going on everyone? Owen here from Aussie Fishing Adventures and today I got some crazy footage from this past summer of me fishing the local tailwater which I said I landed some really nice fish in the local tailwater but I still got a ton of big fish footage that I didn't upload from this past summer. Today I'm going to show you some of that footage and you're going to go like what? <laughs> because this first part of this video I'm really fishing chocolate milk water it was right before work. I really got up at 5 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. was at the creek at 5 a.m. and fished for two hours until 7 o'clock and left to get to work at 8 and this water was chocolate milk and I thought for sure I wouldn't catch anything but I did <laughs> I was really twitching a patch rubber legs and a pink I think it was a pink egg I'm pretty sure is what it was through this you know mud red water and I was picking off some nice fish I picked off a couple nice fish hope you enjoyed the video and after that I'll get to part two of this video wish I land some more nice fish <laughs> make sure you smash that like button subscribe to all you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads guys can't thank you guys enough for supporting the petition as well as the PA Wild Trout Chronicles means so much let's get right into this one guys and let me show you my setup all right guys today I'll be using my Hydra's SL3 my five weight fly reel Going up from there, I got my Go Tripoter 9 foot 5 weight today. Ignore that it's snowing. I know it's not the summer now. <laughs> but as I said, today I was using that egg and also I dropped that golden stone off of there. And man, I did really well. And my fly line, which is not attached right now, it was 4X tippet. And attached to that was my cutthroat nymphing leader. Let's get out there and have some fun. All right, guys, picked off a pretty nice fish right in this inside slow seam. That's where the fish are hanging out. Today, I'm able to pick off these bigger fish because look how the water's really mud red right now, and I'm still able to pick these fish off. I'm really just jigging a patched rubber legs through these holes, and I'm picking off these nice fish. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm catching fish in this mud red water. It's absolute just mud red. But we're still in here picking off some really nice fish today. Which is just beautiful. Look at that sucker. You ain't a monster, but it's a nice fish. Oh, you ain't done yet. There we go. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I'm in here catching these fish. Look at that son of a gun. This place has been really producing for me lately. It really has. Love these wild fish, man. They are so much fun. Throwing a big giant golden stone and I just got a really nice fish. Oh yeah. He's decent. Look at that sucker. Did he take the egg? I think he did. Got him. No, stupid net. Yes, oh my gosh. Yeah, he took the egg. Look at that. <laughs> You're kidding me. Look at the colors on him. Wow. As I said guys, it's kind of unfortunate that my GoPro is acting up that day because I did catch a couple more really nice fish. But let's get on to day two because day two, I had another good day as well. You're gonna really enjoy this video. But as you saw, this was back in the summer and back then I was still learning fly fishing a little bit. Like I, maybe I was like maybe half a year into fly fishing. And it's funny because I'm watching myself like catch these big fish. And every time like one of those big fish ran, I was like peeling line out of my reel. I don't know why I was doing that. But anyways. Hope you're enjoying the video and let's continue. The fly that I was using for the rest of this video was a small size, about 16 pheasant tail. In this next clip, I was covering this hole and then I realized that I didn't even cover the left side of the hole. As you can see, there's a bunch of rock structure over there and I figured, you know what? I need to lay one riddly right along those rocks. And when I did, oh, there is one. There you go, nice fish. There you go. Got that over on the other side. That's yep. Where, that's where he was. Better fish. That's an upgrade. <laughs> Definitely an upgrade. That's great, though. Yeah, I guess I should have covered that slow pocket. Dad made a good point. <laughs> the nicer fish. Look at that. Oh, look at the colors on that fish. That's a gorgeous one. He's not in there by himself either. Oh, yeah, definitely not. 
Nice. <laughs> Let's go. This guy ain't really moving. He's kind of just sticking deep. All right, dude. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my net too. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Always fun when that happens. Done yet? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fish is a strong fish. He's not coming out. Not coming out of this current at all. It's about 13. It's a nice fish. Yeah, he's pretty. Nice. That's a thick one. Oh, wow. Beauty. All right, guys. This fish really wants to go, but look at that. It's a solid fish. There he goes. Here's my suggestion. That's probably the right way to catch the biggest fish in the hole. I don't know. See if another one takes. There is another one. <laughs> you know I mean? They're all laying on the outside. Yep, they're all. That's another nice fish. Yep, you're right. I came down to the bridge to look for you, and I figured if I can't find him and I can't get in touch with him, I'm going to go up and fish that hole right at the bridge. Yeah. So, then I looked up and saw you. Dang, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll get upstream. I don't like them when they're downstream. Yesterday, that's how I lost some of my fish. They got downstream on me, and then they just kept pulling and pulling. Oh, that's another beauty. Look at the fins on that boy. <laughs> Let's go. Don't tell me there's another fish coming out of that slow water. Another decent fish under there. Look at that. I'm already landed some pretty nice ones. Oh, there goes the hole. Got a nice fish on, gotta figure out what they like. Took me a while, but they're taking this pheasant tail. They are mashing the pheasant tail. Man, it's a better fish. Big time better fish. I just picked two in a row off. Second one was a smaller one. Now that I figured them out, that was two fish back to back. They're definitely on this pheasant tail. I'm not sure what it, why they're on this pheasant tail, but they're definitely liking this pheasant tail. Nice. <laughs> that was two casts. That was awesome. Two casts back to back. It's got two pheasant tail. Just casting in this fast water, just taking my line slowly down. I don't even have a lot of weight on. I actually been just getting nice natural drifts and they're taking it. Oh, he's going back down. Come on, dude. Come up. Oh, <laughs> well, he wants to stick down in that fast water. He's going to eventually get tired. Oh, here he comes. I think. Come here, dude. I can't get my line out enough. There you go. Nice fish. Look at that. All right. Now that I figured them out, maybe we'll start picking more fish off. It's a beautiful fish. And there he goes. Back into the wild. All right, guys. Camera back on. See if I can... Oh, riser. You see that? It's a very good sign right there. All right, guys, so I moved to a new hole because I think they figured me out back at that hole. But now, since I'm at a new hole, we'll be able to truly figure out if I got them figured out. Because these fish didn't get a fly for one of them yet. Nobody's here. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm loving this. Water's still just off color. It's like the perf most perfect off color you could get to fool some of the bigger fish in this creek. I, m I missed a fish at the top of this pool that was pretty big, so I'm going to approach that with stealth. The sun isn't it make oh there goes one there you go nice 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 geez this guy's going crazy holy oh no <laughs> you son of a gun you're kidding me that looked like a decent fish i think man that fish was just going nuts though i'm not sure how big that fish was that sucked 
What the heck? Got stuck on a little rock back there. And right at the top of the pool, like right about there, had a really nice fish hit it. Hit my glow bug. There goes one. Oh, that's a, that's a nice fish. There we go, he's stuck now. I gave him a second hook set. Nice! Not bad. Not a bad fish at all. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I'm getting into some bigger fish today, but as I said, like all the fish that I've been catching, it's not like they're all little dinks. Like I usually come here and I catch all little dink fish. Like today and also the day before, all average fish is like 11, 12 inches. It's really nice. Been really nice. Oh, don't hate it when they get downstream. Hey, look at that beauty. That's an awesome looking fish. All these fish are super healthy. Fight like crazy. Just love fishing this stream. It really is a gem. For all the silt in it, it's a gem. <laughs> where the fish like to hold, I mean, where there's structure and you think fish hold, they're always there. <laughs> always. Look at that. Beauty. <laughs> Awesome colors on that one. Look at the fins on that fish. All the fish today, super fat. Look at the gold on his fins. Wow. Buttery, buttery, buttery. Look at that gorgeous fish. That is awesome. I'm actually happy about the sun today. Now I could actually get good footage and you could actually see the gold color on these fish. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in for today's video. I love that local tailwater during the summer. It really fishes really good. 55 to 60 degrees year round. The only thing is in the winter, the flows are really low and it's almost impossible to fish. Summertime is really the best time to fish that local tailwater. And man, it does produce some nice fish and it definitely did last summer. Last summer was a breakthrough summer for the local tailwater. Because usually I just catch little tiny fish. I never catch anything substantial, but man, this past summer, it was like substantial was my middle name. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. I'm out for now. Oh wait, I wanted to tell you guys something real quick. So recently I've had the chance to check out a fly company called Angler's Diet International. And I just found them online just searching for flies and stuff. My dad does tie, but I was just curious what I could find online in relation to flies and all that stuff. And I just ran into their website. I'm like, wow. And I checked them out. They had a bunch of things. They have streamers, they have wet flies, they have about everything. And they sell internationally. So I was like, wow, I should try some of these out. So I actually ordered some and I'm super impressed with the quality of these flies. Barbless hooks. Just really, really high quality flies. But yeah, guys, let me show you some of their flies. Link to their website in the description below this video. Tight lines and thank you so much for watching today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. As I said, this summer was crazy and I still got a ton more footage that's not even in this video from the local tailwater of some more big fish. So can't wait to show you that guys as well as some more episodes of the PA Wild Trout Chronicles. If you haven't signed a petition yet, definitely sign the petition and let others know and spread the word about the petition. I can't thank everybody enough for the good work that you've all done to help promote and also protect these wild fish throughout Pennsylvania. Let's keep going, let's keep pushing, and hey, let's keep having fun. It's what it's all about. <laughs>